This is the A pillar molding, exterior molding, or windshield molding for the 66 convertible Mustang. It's a tiny bit dinged up, but uh, I'm going to use it on my car because I found just about all the aftermarket stuff like this that I get is just shit. And I'd rather have something a tiny bit dinged up than something that just doesn't fit. So here's the bitch of this. Right in here, there's these three clips. Uh, they slide underneath um, a little cut that's in the in one of the bends on this and that's what clips into your windshield clips that that are installed all around the windshield or the three that are on the side. Well, my other piece is like this. No little clips. They are impossible to find online. I can't even find a reference to them where somebody is asking, hey, where do I get these? Um, so, in my preparation for Harry Carey, it occurred to me that um, the profile of this thing, like if you look at it on the side right here, is very, very similar to the profile of the bottom windshield trim right here and this thing has a little fold in it right along this edge Let's see if you can see that and that's what the clip grabs when you lock it in so I took a piece of this aftermarket trim again I'm using my one with a little ding in it because this thing is a world-class piece of shit but what it is good for is it's good for donating its pieces to make those little clips. I cut it with the cutoff wheel, straightened it out, which I'll show here in a minute, and uh, removed a bit of it, and then made the bend. So I'll set up the camera and show how I did all that. I haven't tested it on the car, but the clip looks, um, for the most part, identical to the factory versions of it. So I think it's gonna work fine, and then I, glued them in there. Originally they were glued in with some sort of mastic. Alright, so I'm going to cut this right around here to give me a workable size piece. Now i got to open it up. This is really the hardest part of the whole deal, getting it open without destroying it. So of these two legs, it's the longer leg that I'm after, the one that has the molding profile in it. Uh, they both have a similar turned up edge, so um, they'll grab that little clip. But you need the longer one to get the, you know, the full length of the thing. Now, if I sort of stuck in there with that, with this one fold, but that's okay because that's where I'm going to break it off. And naturally, this one's not as kind as the other. The last one broke right off. I can just cut it with the snips, but uh, it's hoping to break it. Anyway. 
just folding that turned edge over to give it a, you know, we're trying to achieve sort of that profile right there. Because that's what, this is what clips into the actual windshield clip. It's being difficult on braking. I'm just going to cut it. Pull this clip out so we can see that's ultimately what I'm trying to achieve. And the dimension across here is pretty important. As it turns out, it's right on that line. It's hard to see, but I have a line right on there. So I'm going to put it in the vise and bend it right on that line. And I'm putting the part that I'm trying to preserve that little uh, bent edge up. I don't want to crimp that thing down in the vise. And then I'm going to bend it towards that little curve. And then I'm going to bend it until I'm, you know, roughly the same angle, which I'm pretty close right now. Uh, once it's glued into place, we'll have the opportunity to bend it more or less. Take some bend out, add some bend to it, whatever needs to be done. And then the very last thing I'm going to do is cut it to length. Just using another clip as a guide. And they're much bigger than they need to be. They only clip into something that's about three quarters of an inch wide. So I made a mark. I'm just cutting it on that mark. And that's it. It's a tiny bit rough, but once it's in place, it, it'll be perfect. So I'm going to make two more and then I'll show you gluing them in. Alright, so <clears throat> these two are factory. Actually, actually, I'm sorry, these two are factory. This is one I made. These two are ones that I made. And then this is the final one. And the way I put it in, I'm using... Um, U418, which is a urethane uh, that if you've installed a windshield in your car, you might have used this between the glass and the rubber gasket. Um, but it's a urethane caulk. It's really nasty stuff, which for purposes of this is really good. So I just put a bead of caulk oop, all around that thing. And then I'm just going to slide this in.
and that's it. So I'm going to let these sit to let the urethane set up, and uh, tomorrow hopefully I'll be able to install them.